afternoon, it's back again today. Yes, back again today. This time we're with old hardware, new distro, new operating system. Again, this time we're running Zubuntu, so it's XFCE based. Okay, this is Ubuntu 1210 64 bit. I thought I'd chuck a bit of 64 bit in there, see if it made any difference. As you can see, seems to be man okay so far. I had no problems with it whatsoever. Although some programs I've installed don't actually work correctly, but that's not actually Zubuntu's fault. Okay, so we're using the same standard Pentium 4 3 gig with 1 gig of RAM. Oh yeah, and a nice little partition, okay? We've got a little bar down here, working all nice. <clears throat> Let's open our web browser and see what happens. See how long it takes while recording at the same time. Remember, these machines were in their heyday years ago. And as you just see, it's rather sprightly, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. So let's just go to, oh, I don't know, where should we go? We'll go to Google. Let's go here, yes. See how we get, yeah, that's, I'm quite impressed, are you? Yeah, I am. Let's go to the tube. Let's go to the tube. Let's see if it plays one of my vidvos, shall we? That'd be better, wouldn't it? So we just go up here, go to my video manager, and we'll just see how Flash plays. I'm sure I've installed it, so it should work. This is the current version, by the way, the current version. It's got the um, <coughs> video graphics driver here as well, but I've got the early one here, the 173, as the new one just didn't want to work. No, it didn't want to work at all. It was being really horrid. Now, I'm only capturing at 17 frames a second here, so if you see some stuttering, that is the reason why. I've not actually tried it any faster, but when I used to use um, Record My Desktop, 20 was not a problem with this sort of thing. Now, as you can see, that's running smoother than Zorin OS did, okay? <clears throat> so, in my personal opinion, XFC is probably a better bet because it's actually running nicer and the video is doing its video stuff, okay? Wait for it to come up again. There we go. Looking nice to me. What I'm going to do, we're going to open up the system monitor, because in theory, that should be really using some stuff, okay? Open up the task manager, and see what's going down. Now, in my opinion, that is not using as much memory and CPU as Zorin OS, yes. Considering it's got the same, well, it's actually the newer base, and it's 64-bit, so whether it being 64-bit makes a difference, who knows, okay? Hope we'll come out of that, super duper. What else we've got here? As you can see, it's really sprightly. Really, really sprightly, but that's what XFC does for you. Remember, you can set anything up you want to with XFC, so it should be nice. It'll be nice to see how Linux Lite works, okay? So we've also got that on the agenda for this week as well, on this particular system. Basically, what I'm doing this series for is, if you've got a machine that's eight to 10 years old, or five to 10 years old, you don't really have to chuck it, do you? No, you don't, okay? While we're here, I'll tell you, we have a couple of workspaces, I think. Shall we? Yeah, go on then. So we've got two at the moment, we're going to make that four, look, there you go, we've got four workspaces, we'll go back up here, accessories, it's all here, it's the latest version of course, only two games, uh, and the graphics, not a lot really, under internet, Firefox is your browser of choice as you will know, if I go here, we'll open up the Fox, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up Abbey Word as well, make sure everything's all hunky dory so Abbey Word should be that baby there, and we'll just see how it copes with it, now there's a little bit of lag, but there wasn't too much, not too worried about that then. What version is it? I forgot they're using in this one. That bad be word. Okay, 292. Now, in theory, I should be able to open up Gnumeric as well. Okay, so we'll go to Office again. Is there no Gnumeric? Why is that then? Is it not there or has it gone somewhere else? Oh dear, I not have that, must be. Okay, well, that's quite a surprise. I was expecting that to be installed by default. Well, 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 what do you know? Now, as you know, you've got Synaptic <coughs> down here. So I'll open up Synaptic as well over here. What's my password? We'll boogie on down to there. Seems hunkly dory, everything's working fine, nothing's going wrong. We've got three things running while it's doing it. I'm going to open up the system monitor one more time. As you can see, still not doing too much, really, is it, when you think about it? And I've got quite a few windows open and recording at the same time. Now, I didn't have this much luck with Zorin for some reason. And I just don't know why. So, over here, we're going to find Gene America and install it. Once I spelt it correctly, that is. In theory, we should be able to install it from here. Remember, there is the software centre, but I sometimes don't like using it too much, to be really honest with you. So I'll just put the basic one in. Mark for installation. Yes, it wants all that. I'm going to apply, and it shouldn't take too long at all. It wants 16 megabytes of stuff. And we're whizzing away down there. Lovely jubbly. Not going to take too long at all. This is it. Now, the proof in the put in here is going to be when it's installing, will it affect the video at all? Okay. But I've got a sneaky kid upstairs on the Xbox, so that's why it's a little bit slower than normal here today. I thought I'd tell you that. Leave off this all installing. Yeah, so we've got all that in going down there, so I'm quite impressed, yeah. And we're going to start installing our stuff. I'll move that up. 
One more time. Look, here we go. Oh, you know what? I'm quite impressed with Zubantu. It's doing this all the same. You wouldn't actually know much difference from a, a pretty newer machine, I don't think, really, unless you've got a really, really brand new machine. But say you've got a dual core, old dual core. I don't think performance is that much difference, to be honest with you. Okay, it will record better at the same time. But apart from that, I don't think there's much difference, actually, to be really honest with you. Since doing everything that's going hungry door is though nothing else is happening. Which is what we really wanted to do. Nice. So that should all be done. Okay, just wait for Synaptic to reload itself again. That'll do what it's got to do, as you would do. What it decides to do. There we go. And we're done. So, yeah, I'm impressed. It's very, very impressed. If I go to the menu again, and we should be able to get Junior numeric from there. Open him up. <clears throat> yep, and we'll open up the system monitor again just to see what it's doing. I should left it open, really, shouldn't I? There we go. Ooh, what, we're using a bit more CPU there. Mm. Oh, yes. But it's still holding on to some stuff from Synaptic. So that will go down in a minute, like now. So it's gone back down. We're using 28%. Impressive, impressive, impressive. Yes, I like it. So, what I'm going to say basically is if you've got an older machine, the Pentium 4, 3 gigs, say for instance, or the 2.8, or something oh, that's long of that ilk, or that age, hmm, would you go for Zorin or would you go for Zubuntu? Well, it looks like Zubuntu at the moment, doesn't it? 64 bit. I might get the 32 bit as well and try that out just in case. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. I also downloaded the new PPA for Kazam. It looked all super duper and oopy doopy. Don't work very well at all. No, no, it's just not working very well at all. It, no, don't work properly. So don't don't bother at the moment. It still needs some stuff doing to it. Okay. But on the whole, I'm really impressed with Zubuntu 1210 on this old hardware. It's like nothing's happened really. Look, everything's doing what it's supposed to do. Go to graphics. Okay, there's no gimpy there, but you should be able to open other stuff up, and it should be fine. Okay. Parole is your uh, media player here as well, and I've also installed VLC and some other bits and bobs as well. But yeah, that was really good. I'm impressed. Zubuntu 1210, 64 bit. Mm -mm -mm. Thumbs up for older hardware so far. Now let's see what the other ones have got to offer as we do them as we go on in the week, which will be Linux like, will be one of them. We might do a bit of Solus OS as well and see what goes down there. Super duper. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.